What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 game today guys I have this M this Lowry marketing and gameplay for you guys now taking a look at this card He is pretty decent not gonna lie. He's got hustle rebounder corner specialist mid-range that I deep range that I difficult shots pick and popper and catch and shoot and tireless score so the badges on this card are looking pretty clean and taking a look at some of his like attributes here 87 open shot threes looking pretty nice uh, 85 contested three not bad with a coach boost they're gonna be in the 90s basically so that's not that bad 90 free throw for a big man's pretty good as well 80 standing dunk could be a little bit better with the contact dunk but all in all the card looks all right I mean the rebounding is pretty good but the my main problem with this card is gonna be the defense like a 70 on ball defense and uh, pick and roll IQ of a 72 is just awful man like pick and roll defense is very important in this game and the fact that it's a 72 is just really bad so we'll see how this card goes um i'm kind of excited to use this card um and yeah before we hop into this gameplay i did just want to say thank you guys seriously for all the support on the defensive settings video the video blew up for like 6,000 views just yesterday alone and it has over 450 likes now which passed my most liked video so again thank you guys so much for all the support on that video i really appreciate it but enough yapping let's hop into the gameplay all right, guys, here we go. Hakeem versus Shaq. Nice little matchup we got going on in this game. Not something you see too, too much, which is nice. So hopefully that means he won't off-ball me because generally when players use centers that can't shoot, they don't off-ball as much. So let's go. Good defense. First possession. Beautiful defense. Good rebound right there for Markkinen. Okay, good start. Let's get it to the guard here, see what he can do. All right, what you got for me, Markkinen? You're going to hit me with a nice little fade? All right, Magic's there. All right. He's got some nice pick-and-roll defense. I'll give him that. Of course, he actually is going to be off-balling me, but I'll take that. Nice little floater right over Shaq right there, getting himself rolling. I'll take it. Go Wade. Slash to the rim, baby. Go all the way, Wade. Let's go. Let's go, Dr. J. Wide open. I'll take it. Easy shot. Let's go. I'm glad that he's actually hitting his shots. Let's go, Dr. J. Good backdoor cut and one. Oh, I really wanted that and one right there. I don't know why, bro, people can't play defense in this game. I know I say this every video, but, like, God, bro, it's really not that hard to play on ball. Like... <laughs> I know a lot of you guys play off ball and I know a lot of you guys say like hey I'm trash like that's why I play off ball but like practice bro if you just practice like it's really not that hard to play defense in this game like you just just clamp up like I don't know something about clamping somebody up myself rather than having the computer do is just a lot more rewarding to me but I don't know maybe people feel a different way I, I, I really can't speak for yourself um, and I did want to say too it's actually kind of funny because I have a feeling this dude's gonna watch this video eventually um, so if you guys see a comment and, and, it, and it's like, oh, this dude's scared of comp or whatever. He ducked me or whatever. I loaded into a game and this guy had Dr. J at point guard. I had like Chris stops at the two, Will at the three, I think. And I just left the game. Like I, I didn't even bother playing it because I'm not going to deal with that, bro. Let's go. Good post fade right there over LaMarcus Aldridge. I'll definitely take that. I'm trying to get him open and like you guys can see like he is just missing a lot and it's kind of shitty because the shots that he's missing are mostly wide open like or not wide open but they are mostly contested like my opponent is playing good defense like he's not off balling really as much as he was before but like it's still hard to get open when somebody's just standing in the freaking paint with like their defender and whatnot like right here he's not off balling so we're gonna try to take advantage of that and of course I get just a terrible animation marking it all the way Dude, these animations are just so sluggish, it feels like, with his marketing. But he is, he is finishing again over Shaq and Aldridge, so I'll take that. I want to try to get some jumpers with him, but he's doing what he can throughout the post right now. And I, that's something I was not expecting. And great defense right there on Shaq. Again, the thing that was lacking on the card, in my opinion, was his defense. So it's nice to see him actually play some. I don't know why you're at half court, bro. Let's go kick. Bro, like, that's what I'm saying. These animations are so bad. Wade, give me that at the buzzer. Okay. <laughs> He's got Kawhi Leonard in the game right now, so I'm kind of hoping that we can constantly hit these post fades. Honestly, him being in the post is actually something surprising. Like I said, I did not expect that to actually be a case. Kawhi slamming that down over me. We're doing a good job blocking him up. Like, I think that said he's shooting, like, what, 30% this game? So we're doing what we can. I mean, it's just kind of tough because, like, what we're trying to do out here just doesn't really work as far as getting jumpers and stuff. Like, he, just, he is playing good defense. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deny that. And the fact that Markinen has a pretty slow release kind of makes it tough to get him open as Tatum knocks down a big three tying his game up. But like I said, I'm doing what I can. I mean, it's tough, man. It, it really is. I can't really I don't know, I can't really do much more. Good post fade again. Like I can't, bro. I can't get much more open than that. And like I said, him playing off ball, like the, like even like the slightest bit of off ball is making it tough for me to get these wide open mid ranges and stuff like that. So I don't know. 
We'll have to see. Like, you can see, like, right here. He's just playing off ball on marketing. And it makes it tough, man. But that's an easy layup right there. I'll take that. He's got 12 points, two rebounds, one assist. He's even playing some pretty decent defense. So we're going to try to get him to have, like, a little bit of a breakout quarter here. Man, this Curry just keeps getting wide open, bro. We got to clamp up on that, too. <sighs> marketing wide open in the corner. Give me that. Bro, I get him finally wide open, and then he bricks it. That's tough, man. Ah. Go kick it to Jay Smooth in the corner, wide open, good three. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Like, like I said, bro, he's actually finishing in the post a lot more than you would think. Like, I know Markkinen's game isn't in the post. Oh my God, Dr. J, I'm gonna freaking throw you off this team in a minute, bro. We're in a half court press, and he still won't close out on Curry. Like, oh my God. Let's go, wide open mid range. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we need. Let's go, Markkinen, right around Kawhi. Thank God we got fouled, bro. I thought that was just going to be another block and another failed, like, dunk, layup, attempt, whatever you want to call it. But, like I said, he's not playing that bad. Considering his shooting percentage, the fact that he still has 17 points right now is actually pretty nice. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is on me. I'm playing. I'm not playing the best right now, but we are doing what we can out here. He's got magic in at shooting guard. That's a little interesting, not going to lie. But, like I said... I'm playing a little bad right now. If I was playing a little bit better, I'm sure I could get him open a little bit more. Oh, Kristaps on Shaq. This will be interesting because Shaq is stronger, but Kristaps got that length. Good defense. Okay. Oh, these layup animations are going to give me a freaking aneurysm. It's not even this card at this point, guys. Like, like in 100% honesty, bro, I'm playing like crap. But these layup animations are not my fault, bro. There's no way la all of his layup animations are, like, this bad. Like, they are super freaking shitty, bro. Like, they are really freaking bad. Like, every time I'm driving, we're just getting the slowest, like, layup and whatnot. It's going to drive me nuts, bro. We do got to start attacking with some other people, though. Because, like, I, I need to... I, I want to actually win this game. So, even though Lowry, if this is his gameplay, bro, we, gotta, we might have to attack with somebody else. Never mind. That's an open dunk right there. Thank you. Go Lowry all the way. Finish that. Oh, if he got an L1 out of that, that would not have, that would have been amazing. I don't know why I was saying that would not have been amazing. That would have been great, dude. But you know what? Even though, again, you guys can see terrible shooting percentage, and it's on me. I'm not blaming the car this time. This one's on me. I'm playing bad. I got to get better looks. But he's doing what he can. From the post, he's making in, or he's knocking in a lot of post fades, knocking a lot of post hooks as well. Thank you. Like, that's all I needed, bro. I just needed a nice, light little dunk animation. No getting blocked. No, none of that shit, bro. Perfect dunk right there from marketing. I'll take it. Oh, that was a good cross. I ain't gonna lie. That was, that was a pretty good double cross. <laughs> that shit kind of caught me leaning in real life. Come on, we gotta snag that board, bro. This is why, man. We're just leaving him open. Like, all of his shooters just keep getting open, too. Like, we gotta close out on these shooters a little bit more here. Come on, marketing. Come up. Let's go. All the way. Easy dunk. Let's go. Good finish. Let's go. Chris stops. Wide open, baby. Give me that. Let's go. Good shot. Oh, my God, Dr. J. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We need those deep threes to green for us. Come on, baby. Just play some good defense here. That's what we need to do. Let's go, Jock. Okay, Dr. J, you just felt like hip-checking him, I guess, in the middle of the air. It's all good here. Go marking an easy layup. Okay, I'll take that over Aldridge. See, now he's starting to come alive here. He's got takeover. Kind of sucks that it's at the end of the quarter, but this is what I needed from him this whole time. Let's go. Good closeout on Curry. Grab the rebound. There we go. Good board from Markin. Okay. Yo, he's actually kind of fast. I mean, like, he's, his stats are like, he has like a 72 speed, but I'm not even going to lie. Like, that felt a lot faster. That was on grip. Okay. I thought I got fouled by Kawhi. I swear to God, my body got thrown for that rebound, but it's all good. We're still down three here. We just got to clutch up, man. I don't know why Markinen's on freaking Brandon Roy. I really don't know how that happened, but hey, I'll take it, man. He gets the stop. So, good rebound again right there. Let's go. Push this out. Okay. Can you stop standing on top of me? <laughs> like, that's a good start to this, this, you know, offensive run here. Marking it. Wide open. Good three ball. Bro, you got to knock that down. And it's not even just marking it anymore. Like, it's literally everybody. Wide open. Thank you. Finally knocking down a three. I'll take that. Hakeem has zero points. And I feel like that is a big reason why my, I'm struggling right now. Because you guys know how I love to use Hakeem. So the fact that he has zero points right now should tell the story of this game. And, bro, I can't play better defense than that. Like, I know somebody's going to be like, yo, it's because Dwayne Wade's unusable. He's not unusable, bro. You just got to not, like, let hit pe like let people hit dumb shit over me. Like, it's just as simple as that. Marketing. Wide open again. Let's go. Good green. And again. No. Why did you step in? 
That was a perfect corner three, bro. I finally figured out how to get him open, but of course it's too late. Well, I guess it's actually not too late. No. It's a three-point game. We can still win this. We just got to clutch up. It's as simple as this. He has a 70 open shot three. Don't let that go in. Let's go. Grab the breed. Oh, thank God. I was so scared right there. Hakeem with like five, or like not five, but like 10 rebounds right now. Jay Smooth wide open. Let's go. Game tying three, Jay Smooth. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go, Dwayne Wade. Oh my God, look, that's what you all, all you guys get right now. Because I know somebody in the comments is going to say something about Wade being too short. That's what you get right now. Dwayne Wade getting a stop on Shaq. Marking in. You're such a choke artist. Literally, I get you wide open to win the game. You could have just saved yourself. It could have been a great title. You would have been known as the best hooper of all. And you just, you, you sell, you just sell me, bro. You sell me. Look, you sell me so bad I can't even... Okay, he needs to knock both of these down. These are really clutch free throws. That's 39 right there. I'm not even talking about for the 40. I'm talking about for the game right here. Okay, tie game. Let's go, baby. Tie game. He has final shot. Not too sure how I feel about that. Like, I kind of want to send Kawhi to the free throw line because I know he has like a 73 or something like that. Oh, my God. I mean, a 70 free throw or some shit. Let's go. Perfect defense. That was so good. That was such good defense. Push, 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 push. Play fast, play fast, play fast. This will work. This will work. It's not going to work. All right. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. Never mind. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I had Karolinko the whole time and didn't even play him. I totally forgot Karolinko was on the team. Totally forgot it. But we're going to use him this possession. If he hits a three, great. I, do you guys remember this plan, what I did with Josh Smith? Do you mind? I'm explaining myself. Anyway, Josh Smith hit a very awesome corner three ball. I forget what gameplay it was in. I think it was in the Joe Harris gameplay. But I don't know if you guys remember, I inbounded the ball, I ran, and I passed it. And then Joe, uh, Josh Smith got left wide open in the corner because he thought I was going to shoot a three with somebody else. So I'm going to try to use Karolinko as bait. I'm going to try to run the same play, get him open, and hope to God that this goes in. All right, here we go, boys. Let's go. Okay, the plan just did not work. All the way. Karolinko. Thank God for Andre Karolinko. Why are you not calling a timeout? Are you mental? I think he's actually mental. I think he wants us to go into overtime. I mean, I'll take it, man, but whatever, dude. Oh, my God. I don't know how, how he's just left wide open, but I'll take that. That's a great start to overtime. Dr. J, really clutch three. I, I literally was talking to some of my friends last night, and then there, I'm not going to name any names. <coughs> JC. I don't know why, but this dude said that he, oh, he's like, I don't even want Dr. J. He doesn't even look that good. What? Dr. J is, like, by far one of the best cards in this game right now. Let's go marking it. And one. Bro, this man cannot get a freaking M1 to save his life. But, you know, he did drop 40 points, and that's something I didn't think was going to happen. We had a really slow start with this card, and the fact that he came back and is dropping 42 right now is pretty insane to me. We have a three-point lead in overtime, so we got to clutch up, man. We got to do what we can do here. Let's go. Play that defense. That's mine. I've seen that shit all day, baby. Go all the way, Jay Smooth. All the way. Josh Smith! Poster him, baby! Nobody's going to cut to the paint. There it is. I was going to say, where's Hakeem? There he is, baby. First points of the game coming in clutch, giving us a two-possession lead here in overtime. Overtime thriller at the max right now. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, I'll, I'll play the same defense you're playing on me, bro. Let's go. Hakeem, this is all you, baby. This is why I got you, Hakeem. This is why you're here, baby. Hakeem, wide open. Give me that. Hakeem, I love you with a passion, bro. I seriously love you with a passion, Marketing. I love you more. Marketing. Ah, let's go, baby. 44 points. Dude, it's literally just all falling apart for my opponent here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do whatsoever. That's that's a feels bad right there. Steph Curry wide open. I mean, yeah, that's that's that was worst case scenario. Me turn Okay, now that would have been worst case scenario. That would have been it. <laughs> if I turned the ball over after doing that and he hit another three. Bring it to a four-point game. That would have sucked, but we're looking to be in a good position here. You can off-ball me. Oh, my God. Marketing. Seal the deal, baby. Seal it. All right, guys. Here he is at the line to seal the deal for points. Number 45 and hopefully number 46, giving us a eight-point lead to close this game out. 46-point debut for a card that I honestly was not feeling at first, but I'm really glad that I stuck with it. I honestly was going to play a different game because, like I told you guys, like I don't want to play games if I'm going to sit here and complain the whole time. So, 
I'm glad I ended up clutching up and doing what I had to do. I, wh like, why? Bro, we both know the game's over. If you get literally one more foul, it's going to foul you out this game. So there's literally no point in you doing this. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this game. Honestly, that was one of the more fun games I've played all year. He took 39 shots. But you know what? He turned it around, ended up shooting a pretty decent percentage. Like, I couldn't hit a three with him. Like... I know other people are going to be able to. I just, I don't know. Maybe I suck with his release, but 46 points, four rebounds, two assists, one steal. Not bad at all. That steal came in pretty clutch at the end here. Dr. J played pretty great. Josh Smith not missing a shot. Dunking on Paul George. Hitting a game-tying three like clutch as ever. Karolinko coming in, giving us the freaking bucket to send us into overtime. Hakeem, two clutch as shit buckets in overtime. Chris Stops came in, hit a three. Uh, D. Wade really didn't do much. Just because he was being defended by magic Grant hill was trash he literally got stripped like every time he touched the ball i, I can't believe i'm just so dumb and didn't play karolinko like that's literally all my fault too like this game would not have been this close if i just played karolinko but either way neither of us missed a free throw you guys can see i have 18 free throws don't even believe that because look 10 of them came in overtime from him just non-stop fouling me like all he was doing was fouling me at the end of the game but 50% as a team, not bad. He did shoot better, but that was, again, because I'm marking in. Um, we out-rebounded him, which is pretty clutch. We had more steals. He had six blocks on me, too, all on marking in the beginning when I was just struggling. And, again, in the beginning of this, that was all on me. I'm not going to lie. But his bench outscored mine, mainly because I didn't really play a bench. Um, yeah, we just kind of clutched up, man. Like, that's all you could really say about this, I guess. Like, marking in. Hakeem, Karolinko, all of them clutched up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy it. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.